Hello and welcome Crystal Souls on this new piggy card. Today we're gonna see what is coming for you guys as singles. So what can you expect next? So for this reading we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two, and pal number three. And when you guys are ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. And if you want to get a reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below, so check it out. Group number one, let's start and see what is next for you in your love life as a single. So what you can see is a provider here on the card, someone who wants to be there for you and provide to you. Also what I see with the curtains is that you might be revealed this person possibly in the near future. This person can be around you already and possibly will show up if you need help, if you just want to talk to them. You know, they're just going to be present for you because I see a provider. Now, if you look at the window here, you can actually be opened or maybe this is asking you to be open for this new love to enter or for this person to have a role to play in your life. If you're someone who is a bit independent, this is telling you give them space in order for them to feel connected to you and to be then the provider in that relationship. Can you see that? And don't be shy because I'm really getting that message. Don't be shy. Open up and you're going to be surprised with how this relationship is going to evolve between the two of you. So let's see with the other cards more about your love life. So what can you expect next? And of course, if this person is a hairdresser, if this person is someone who does any type of service to a person, and if you visit them at their workplace, that is totally a message here for you. So take what resonates because we have a lot of symbolisms that appear on the cards. Okay, so we have the seven of flutes. Flutes? <laughs> the seven of flutes for this one. And what this card is telling you is everything you picture, everything you want especially, you are attracting. That means if you want to find someone who is your future boyfriend, or if you want to get married, if you want to have kids, if you want to have a house together, all that you picture as the wishes, you know, this is what you do manifest. Because we have the edit, this is telling you as well, cut and edit out all the things you do not want anymore. So for example, if things were not really satisfying for you in past relationships, so you did notice that things were bothering you, then edit that out and be selective. So then you can create that movie of love with this person. But I'm seeing you cutting contact with the past or cutting contact with somebody. And this is helping you to now manifest this movie of love that you always wanted. So claim this fairy tale because you are attracting someone who's... Oh, I'm just noticing. We started with... I actually the hairdresser and we have a scissor i mean scissors here i don't know but maybe the tools are appearing here for a reason maybe that's about cutting cords with the past or maybe this is just actually connected to someone who is good with scissors <laughs> but yeah so let's see more hints what is next for you but pretty much this is telling you all that you wish all that you desire right now you are attracting in this future person so get ready we have number seven as well so number seven connects to luck so you're gonna be lucky or feel lucky when meeting this person and when having this person in your life then we have the five of roses so we have competition maybe this is talking about the fact that you might have different options actually and these options are going to compete to win you over they want to be the chosen one they want to be with you and they do not want to have that competition anymore they want you to make a choice and perhaps if not competition this can be talking about what we talked about with the past cutting the cord, you know, so then you can welcome this new beginning, but they do not want to be in a position where, like, they're still competing with an ex, like, no, this is a no-no here, because, and that is, yes, and yes, they do not want to be rejected, and you might want the same thing, you want to find someone who is fully invested, fully ready for you, so you won't feel like, I need to compete, or I need to prove my worth, so, Yes, you don't want to be in that position, so don't put people in that position 
as well. But I'm saying that this broken heart that you felt before is guiding you towards someone who is ready to give you that fairy tale, that love story you always wanted. And yes, I feel like you will have to make a choice with who to welcome and what is next for you. Because we have the king of cups, the king of flutes for this one. And this is pretty much showing you you're attracting the perfect match. To me, the king of cups is the most loving, caring, peaceful, mature. This person is emotionally available to be in a loving relationship. So trust me, you do not want to miss this chance to be with this person, okay? So that is pretty clear to me. You're attracting a golden person. And perhaps these options that you will get, you're going to notice, hmm, actually this one king or queen is actually representing all that I want. So why just being stuck in the past or why being so attached? And if not attached to a past person, this could be about the past traumas, past fears, past stories. Because people always believe, oh, it's all about exes and I'm not interested about my ex. But sometimes it's just that residual memory in us or just the way we respond to situations because of the past. And all this is creating possibly rejection or you might push people away because of all that you carry from the past. But this person possibly wants to build a family. So I'm seeing commitment. I'm seeing growth in that relationship. I'm seeing somebody who wants to see further with you. If you want to have kids, they will want to have kids too. Like I said, all that you want, you get. Let's see with the couple cards. So, ooh. <laughs> this is why this is why you want to make that choice to select this person because this one is a soulmate can you see that so you're finding each other you're finding each other you're ready for this love and this is a good sign to see like you two are just merging in the water swimming to each other and this will feel like it i'm sure that you feel like you receive a lot of signs or you will just know after when meeting a person you receive a lot of signs about them rather a name appearing everywhere their birthday date appearing everywhere any type of sign even their favorite color you know this will just be there for a reason and this this is because their souls are trying to reach out to you and tell you look i'm coming up give give me some space <laughs> leave the past behind because i am ready for a true love Oh, is it curable, doctor? So this broken heart, if not about you, this could be about them. If they feel broken hearted, they might feel like, is it curable, doctor? Is it curable with you? Is this love something I can feel with you? Can I feel safe to love again? And you might feel like, of course, <laughs> of course, I'm the one who can heal your heart. And this is, this is to me pretty clear. You're attracting someone who's ready to you know, commit to you and promise themselves to you because they feel a soul bond and connection with you. But now, if you feel this way too, then you guys can be each other's healers. And you might trigger some type of things, but this is in order for the two of you to heal these things, actually. So let's continue and get more hints. But I mean, you're attracting a zoomate. <laughs> so this is perfect. Can I come in? Okay, so I'm seeing a date, possibly this person visiting you to their place, bringing some chicken or some food that you like. And trust me, this person, when meeting you and talking to you, they will notice everything. I mean, they will take notes. Okay, this person likes this color. This person likes these type of styles or they like this type of food. So trust me, this person is a provider and i told you in the beginning right away this person is wanting to provide to you so can i come in can i visit you can i be around you know they just want to be in your life and they just want to show you i can be the provider those lips are tempting are tempting me a lot oh yay and oh so it makes sense with the soulmate card because we have promise me so this could be a promise of the soul to be in this lifetime together and to date so promise me and those lips are tempting tempting me i'm struggling to talk <laughs> tempting me a lot 
Can you see that? So there is this seductive energy, like I'm ready to commit to you. I just want to make a move. I promised I will be yours in this lifetime. But of course, they can be promising you, you know, many things as well as a boyfriend or girlfriend in the future. And they will stick to their promises. They are not empty with their words. And we have my muse. So you or the person can be your inspiration. Maybe this person is an artist. Any type of artist. I'm saying art. We have the air dresser. We talked about style. What else? Um, yeah, things like that. Just any type of crafty, artistic vibes. That's for sure. So let's see places. So these could be places where you guys go on dates. Or symbolic places for the future. Let's see. Group number one. Any type of places. And I was talking about fashion. <laughs> so we have bag, shoes and the clothing store. There are some cells. <laughs> It's time to buy. <laughs> but yes, maybe you guys will enjoy to go on a, you know, shopping date. Or you guys just love fashion and you bond over these type of things. Or perhaps your style is going to be quite similar. <laughs> okay, so let's see all the places. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Because I was about to say, oh, this is another closing store. Yes, but this is for kids. All right, and we could see actually the single dad, the kid. I'm not sure if this person will be a dad or a mom. I'm not really getting that, but I feel like this is you guys building that together in the future, okay? If you do want to have kids, of course. If not kids, could be a pet, it could be a plant. Why not, you know? <laughs> Why always kids? You know, but yes, I'm saying this person just you know, projecting and possibly going shopping for what you guys are building together, whether family or adopting, you know. <laughs> Let's see now messages. So what they want to say to you. Shush, shush, <laughs> no, not shush. Shush. One, two, three. Such a precious thing. Okay, Marion. <laughs> Let's see another message. Shall we just skip work today? All right, this person just want to spend their entire day with you. They don't want to go to work. Um, they just want to just go on a vacation with you or stay in bed with you all day. Because this is what you can see on this one. You know, just, I mean, not sitting there, but laying on the bed. Not wanting to go to work, just wanting to stay with you because you're precious. You're precious for them. And of course, they just want to be around you. And can you see the way they are dressed? <laughs> oh, yes, it is actually showing you there could be marriage. So we have kids together. We have marriage. All that you picture and desire. This is all that you are attracting with this person. So this is all very perfect. And in my opinion, you just want to find someone you see a future with. And this is possibly why you are more selective and you edit out all that you or push people away because, you know, options are great, but at the same time, if they do not satisfy you, you don't see the point in actually connecting with them. So let's continue with the other techniques. Let's go. So group number one, and let's start and see. There's a deck sign, so we have Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Let's see now their name or perhaps a place you can see with the letters and words. So let's place it here and let's pick the letters. Okay, so they want to spend time with you as you can tell here. I would thank you. We have T. I would team as well. California. Cat. Cat. Time. Night. And reach. Teach. Teacher. I would say as well. This one is blank, right? Yes. Maybe that's a creative person. 
I'm thinking of New York City, York City. So that's the hints. Let's continue with the stickers. Okay, so we have this little baby flying high <laughs> so maybe that talks about flying to your person making a move oh my god so get ready to be surprised then we have the bar roaster um isn't it in this group that we saw the chicken coming to your place with chicken and grounding so they have a very grounding energy and personality so now with my book of answers of love answers and by the way if you guys want to get a copy this is linked on my description same thing if you want to get a reading with me this is linked down below so let's see book of love answers i'm going to ask what is next for you any type of message anything you need to receive let's see group number one <laughs> okay so maybe there will be a rejection right because i can see i hate you so what's next it's you leaving that toxic ex or toxic crush maybe so then you can find the one because you could see this person is ready to commit and to marry you and to have kids with you but first you have to say goodbye to someone who is just not not wanting to be with you anymore they hate you so that's the reading guys i hope you will like it and not hate it <laughs> i mean like you could tell there is just a need to remove people from your life in order for you to find this person so claim it down below in the comments subscribe if you're new of course make sure to also check my other readings on my channel and i will see you guys next time so group number two let's see what is next for you in your love life so you can tell there is somebody about to offer you their love and because we have a rainy day here maybe a rainy day could be a time when you guys will be together or start dating or maybe just listening to the rain is something that the two of you will enjoy to do that might relax you and help you to sleep together or maybe to sleep <laughs> but i'm saying this as a symbolic as well actually the rain is connected to water signs and they also connect to someone who is actually sensitive and they are emotional they could be romantics too even the rose itself is about romance and i don't know but the way they're dressed it screams past life. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm really getting this old-fashioned style that maybe is something you guys enjoy or that might resonate with a past life lover that you're attracting again in this lifetime. But just know somebody is ready to give their love to you and they want to pour, <laughs> to pour this love onto you. So let's continue with the decks and see what is next for you in your love life i just feel like you're attracting this fairy tale you know because we started with the rose that romantic being offering you their love pouring that love onto you and you can see flying now together with that balloon and this heart shaped on it and we have the knight of cups which is the knight that is like prince charming in disney movies the one saving the princess in the tower that's totally the vibe of the person that you're attracting right now so if you were wondering where is my prince charming or where is my princess then wait and see because this person is on its way to you because we have the balloon i'm seeing this as possibly a move so making a move towards that specific person or perhaps this talks about you flying to their direction if you are possibly talking to someone on the phone on a dating app or a meeting app or maybe social media this could be how you guys will be traveling to each other showing up with that balloon or they're sending you love in your dms so check them <laughs> okay but i'm seeing someone stepping forward and actually ready to give and express their love that's probably where i did it <laughs> and oh so that is a fresh lover a fresh meat as you can tell someone tasty starting to appear in your life and with this 
Ace of Mirrors. What I see is someone reflecting a lot of things about you. For example, your personality can be very similar, the way you guys talk, the things you love to do, your passion, activities, perhaps your studies or your work, they will be quite similar. This is kind of like, <laughs> it's funny because I have a mirror just next to me um, that I'm not even using. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, I'm saying this as a sign for you. You're ejecting your mirror, your perfect match. And this will feel so refreshing because you possibly felt alone. You possibly felt disconnected with a lot of people, but you always wanted something more romantic. You wanted to be seduced like princess in Disney movies, or you just wanted to find someone who is quite special to you, someone that speaks to your soul, and you're attracting this opportunity to start something with them, and you're gonna feel this is refreshing to have someone who can understand me and connect with me and love me, and trust me, this person is giving the heart all the time, possibly telling you I love you all the time, so expect that. <laughs> Let's continue with couple cards. Let's get, oh my, okay, we're not joking here. Okay, so you guys, singles, get ready. Get ready because this person, when making a move towards you and starting dating you, this this is what they're looking for. They're looking for marriage in the end. They want to be with you. And if they give their love to you, that's because in their head, they are certain you're the one. They're certain, I want to marry this person. I want to be building with this person. And I mean, the way they look comfortable and I don't know, there is so much emotion that's happening on this card. Like, I feel you, you feel me is gonna feel this way. So you're attracting a future spouse. This is insane. This is beautiful. But first, let's go for a drink. Let's go on a date together. And again, the way they're dressed is really telling me you are attracting someone who could have this very unique style, possibly past life, or looking sharp, elegant all the time, or they would love to go with you to places that allow the two of you to dress up. Because I'm seeing fashion as something that allows them to express themselves or just to feel, I don't know, connected to a certain character. <laughs> but let me buy you a drink is the message here for this card. So they want to go out with you. They want to you know, start building that connection and meet you. This is why they're making a move towards you. I'll move these there because we have many cards coming up. So let's see more couple cards. But they see a future indeed. They want to commit, they want to marry you and possibly further. But that's so far what is important for them. So in one flipped, I'll take it to... Love is a beautiful accident. And what this tells me is you might find this person out of nowhere. Like when you go somewhere, when you are taking that transportation tool to then go somewhere, this is when you can be presented this person. Or for example, a friend tells you, oh, you should download this app or you should post this video. And then somebody discovers you out of this video. You know, it could be something that is out of the blue, but I'm seeing this as the happy accident or this happy mystery that then suddenly presents the two of you and you guys will start to actually bond this way. So if you find someone attractive when you take um, a, a transportation tool or if you just go somewhere, if you, I don't know, if you go to a party even and you meet somebody, that is your chance. That is your chance. The universe is helping you to be with this person, so do not miss your chance. I told you, studying and working, right? And I can see that. So I always have my eyes on you. And you can see on the boards, on the board, there are messages. And perhaps this is telling you, they send you messages. It's on the board. It's right there in front of your eyes. You might not even suspect this person is interested about me, but they are. <laughs> so this is what I see. They are looking at you, whether it's physically or on social media, but they are looking at you. They are aware of what's going on and like what you're doing or things that you love to do because they pay attention to all these details 
and we can see the two of them playing music, playing the guitar. So it could be something you guys will enjoy to do. Then we have let's go on separate ways. There could be some type of tension or misunderstanding. And if you guys are in separation, I'm not getting an ex. I'm more getting like a crush you had on somebody. And then you realized we possibly need some work to do. And then so we can be together or so we can feel ready for this loving relationship. So some of you can be going on separate ways or some of you just think why should I quit or why should I just go on separate ways when I'm really attracted towards this person? So this can just be some thought. Your body turns me on. Wait, I did not place this one. I was like, I just, I saw this one before, of course. Uh, so your body turns me on. So there is some attraction physically as well that you guys will feel when being together. Or even when not being together <laughs> but this person just finds you very very attractive let's see places so symbolic places where you guys can be meeting so far we have rather a restaurant cafe um i think of the church maybe <laughs> then i see so i talked about working place but also school what was this one just walking in the streets. So, yes. Okay, let's continue. Oh, maybe on a trip, actually. Flying to a place. Could be, could be a message. So, let's see more places. We have the pub. The pub, the bar, or any type of place where you guys can actually get a drink. And fun fact, we had this one. And they're drinking wine. And on the, the shelf, you can see again the two cups of wines. And the two of cups in tarot is actually, <laughs> is actually a card that we associate to romance and a relationship starting. So this is pretty clear to me. You're attracting the one you want to start dating. And you guys can actually go for a drink on um, different dates. So small pub and we have lipstick. I guess it's about the kiss here. <laughs> you know, they just want to kiss you. And perhaps if you wear lipstick, this could be something that attracts them. For example, even the color that you wear, if you put lip gloss or if you just have beautiful lips naturally, they're, they're just going to look at it. And that's because they want to actually get a taste of them. <laughs> All right, so let's see messages what they want to say to you I, I can't i can't see that because we could see like go let's go on separate ways so there could be some tensions there could be a term of adaptation so don't give up don't give up on this person and they won't tear us apart i promise so if there is somebody getting in the way or if there is possibly an ex trying to you know just reach out to you or reach out to them you will have to close the door for that because if you want this relationship to work the past needs to remain in the past rather than ex or a crush an old crush that you had and you just you know no you guys need to just be invested with each other and don't act so distant so this is what they're trying to tell you they want closeness with you they want to be building with you and they want you two to feel comfortable with each other and respect is i think the foundation of you guys working perfectly together all right so let's continue with the other techniques let's go Group number two, let's start and see. There's a deck sign. So we have Libra, Virgo, and Leo, Gemini, Taurus, and Aries. Let's see now with the letters and words, maybe a name appearing, a place, initials. Let's see what comes out for you. Jill, oh, I love, oh, I love you, sorry, I mixed the letters, from, maybe you can see a place, from, you smile, people, Eris and Taurus, and we saw these two signs before, I heard joy, so maybe that person will bring you a lot of joy, making you smile, if not live, it could be alive. So there can be somebody who goes live. That's pretty much what I can tell with the letters. Let's continue with the stickers. 
Let's pick some for you. Okay, so here we are. So I'm seeing someone crafty, possibly talking to you on the internet. And you can see the artist, the palette of color. The rabbit can talk about speed, so they may actually message you quickly. What this is telling you, this person will appear quickly in your life. We have a restaurant, so it could be a future date, a place you go to. Yes, they're stepping in your life with the intention to love you. And again, I'm seeing the internet, possibly making some researches about you. And this tells me they can love that that fruit so watermelon or this can just be the the summer season as an important season let's now see with my book of love answers any type of guidance what is next for you maybe a message let's see what comes out group number two you're special to me is the message for you guys. And if you want to get my book of love answers of my or my book of answers, everything is going to be linked down below. Same thing if you want to get a reading with me, I link everything down below. So check it out. Make sure to claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, of course. And take a look at my other readings on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take good care of you. Bye-bye. So group number three, let's start and see what is next for you guys. But what you can see on this card is a date going on. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but they're holding hands. The man is trying to reach out to your end, you know, carefully, slowly. So I'm seeing this on the first date. I'm seeing this person ready to make a move towards you. And the season you can see here is screaming spring so this love is blooming between the two of you and i'm sure you feel ready now to start dating so this is a sign to me the universe is making space for the two of you to start dating and to allow this love to bloom between the two of you and in your heart so then you can actually create a beautiful relationship that will grow with time that will bloom with time all right so what i see is a date very soon so let's see with the cards what is next oh this is itchy <laughs> there's a branch glued to my scope anyways so let's see the cards for you guys what is next in your love life we have way too many cards as you can tell so i'm going to shuffle again so this person is in your head and if you picked a pile with someone in your mind then this is indeed the sign you are attracting this specific person and possibly you are obsessed with them you think about them all the time or if you haven't met somebody that you think about these days you will feel this way when meeting this person because this person will be so special that you cannot stop just picturing a future with them, daydreaming about them, and just wanting to have them in their life. Or maybe when they send you a picture, you might just look at your screen or the picture and be like, wow. You know, so that's gonna be this hypnotic feeling. And you can see that with the spiral. So this person is spiraling, is spiraling, it's hard to say, spiraling in your head because you are just so attracted towards them. And they might feel just the same, just so you know. But this person is in your mind. And if not now, this person will be when encountering this one. And that shows you are truly interested. That shows you are hooked. And if you're hooked, there's a good chance to make that relationship work. So let's see next, what's next for you guys. So first being in your head, but then you could see that date. So let's see these. Maybe, yes, I, I see that you or the person will have some insecurities. And this is what makes the two of you take things slow, which is a good thing in my opinion, but this can come out of fears or insecurities. It's like you want to target this apple, aka your person, but at the same time, you're not sure you can reach the target. You are not sure you're gonna be the chosen one, but you will be. You will be, and this is encouraging you to make that 
and then <laughs> that was really weird the sound anyways so you can then reach that person you can target the apple you can be with the one so stop being insecure stop asking yourself too many questions stop thinking i'm not good enough or stop thinking this person will not even care about me how do you know without trying how do you know are you psychic? <laughs> if you are, trust yourself still. Because with that security and confidence, and trust me, confidence is so attractive. A person who knows, I'm not in a way that I'm like cocky, no. It's like, I am confident and I believe I am worthy of love and I will actually open myself up to love. This type of confidence is what makes people want to date you. But if you're like, oh, I'm not good enough, or I'm not pretty enough, or I will never date, or people hate me, people just hearing that speech, they will, you, you're convincing themselves. So use that power to convince them you're the one. You're the most amazing person and that you are the best option for them. You're the best woman or the best date for them. Woman or men, depends. But you are the perfect companion and when you can do that this confidence is going to give you the opportunity to have this date but stop crying over things stop being that person like oh poor me or i will never get that person i will never get what i want you know this this type of mentality and i'm sure you don't like it too like you just want to feel powerful you want to feel attractive you want to feel like i'm the chosen one you want to be chosen you want to be worthy of love i mean you want people to see that you're worth it you're worth the investment you're worth the love they are ready to give to you right and i'm saying my book right now like yeah they're giving you the love <laughs> can see that so definitely stop crying over things it's time to collaborate it's time to be together and you can see this is to me like we are a team, we're best friends, we work things out together, we can count on each other. And so if you want to find this person or somebody to treat you this way, then you have to present yourself as available, emotionally available, mentally available, physically available, and spiritually available too. Because when you do, this is when you become super magnetic and super attractive enough to actually get all that you want. If you want that person, if this person is in your mind and you love that person, of course I'll get the opportunity and I'll give myself the chance because I will no longer give power to my insecurities. I see a target, I see you, I think about you, I want you, I get you. If you have this mentality, nothing will stop you, okay? And number three talks about growth. So you will see evolution, you'll see growth in that relationship, but are you ready for giving yourself the chance to be with this person. I think that's the real question. It's like you have possibly this person just right there, but you're like, <laughs> no, you need to take action. You need to show the universe as well. This is the person I'm going to be with and I'll take action and I'll do my best to be the chosen one. And don't be here to make friends, okay? Because that's the message. Make this person your lover and a best friend but don't be friend zoned. And if you are, that's possibly because you presented yourself from that version that's insecure, from that version that tells people I am not worthy of love, or I'm always the, the friend, or I'm always, you know, the, the chatter that we have or the things that we say sometimes because we are hurt and we want to protect to protect ourselves and we tend to project what we don't want actually. But it's like it's okay if no, it's not okay. <laughs> All right, so that's the, the message I'm getting. So let's see couple cards. What is next for you as singles? After doing the work, after just, you know, just moving away from all these insecurities and fears. What's next? I think it was home-cooked meal. Yes. Home-cooked meal. So eating together. And this could be the, the future result. You know, you are actually going to start cooking for each other, living with each other, or just dating more at home. And if you guys love to stay cozy or just watch a movie and search, this could be the right place for the two of you to be together. 
So let's continue. On duty and I want you. It's clear. They want you back. <laughs> but are you showing up? I want you. Enough for them to feel comfortable and confident to make a move towards you. Unless you feel like I'm supposed to make the move. But they want you too. And I feel like they're on duty. So that means they might be the one making a move towards you. They want to be the one who is directing that relationship. All right. So I want to end on duty. And you can see this this man, the way he's dressed reminds me of um, like police officer. What else did we see? We saw friends. So perhaps this person is in your friend group or you're talking to somebody as a friend in the beginning, but then you can see love. Maybe that's someone you can really open up to when you feel sad, especially. Like you feel comfortable just talk about everything in your head. Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to see what type of uh, like person this could be, like what they could do. Place this one here. What they could do for a living. Let's see places. So these places can be future dates. Future dates. Okay, I'll take these two. Someone is vacuuming outside. I'm hoping you guys are not hearing that. Anyway, so with the places, we have vegetable store and we have the shop where you can get a cup of coffee, tea, um, some type of um, cake and also ice cream. So you guys are foodies in my opinion. <laughs> like you go, you go to places where you can find food or just shop for some food together. As you can tell. So if for example you meet somebody when grocery stop grocery stopping shopping, not stopping. <laughs> um or maybe if you guys stopped going to the grocery store you should go. Because I said stopping. You know, if you go for a drive, just like me, because I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time in in patience. Um anyways, so I was saying yes, if you stopped going to the grocery store, this could be a message telling you to go back because you can be meeting this person out of the blue. Vegetable, I think of possibly someone who likes to eat their grains, who likes to eat healthy. And, but sometimes it's unhealthy too, because we have the cake too, so balance is key. <laughs> balance is key, you know? So let me place these right there. And let's pick now messages, what they want to say to you. I'm so close to falling in love with you, so they're falling in love with you too. So it's not just in your head, okay? This person likes you back. This person is as interested as you are. Okay, so that is a good sign to see. Let's pick, let's pick another message. What they want to say to you. <laughs> it's funny because I told you if you don't go to the, the store, and maybe that's about them too, like if they visit you to your place, you need to be open because that person can just appear in your life randomly. So when do you finish your shift? Or if not appearing, this could be when getting to know you, they might visit you at your workplace or wherever you go to, like suddenly you might meet them. So when do you finish your shift? And we have actually somebody having a drink right there so i don't know i just i just think this is very connected to what we saw on the other cards and they just want to hang out with you after your work after your studies they just want to be around you so let's continue with the other techniques let's go group number three let's see their zodiac sign so we have scorpio sagittarius Pisces, Taurus, and Gemini. Let's see now their letters and words. So we can see perhaps their name, a place appearing, a message, all the hints we need to know. Oh, we have USA. So it could be the place. And all these letters. Let's see. hero i see that and they could feel like a hero saving you making you feel better so through 
ink, sing, he, or. And actually this in French means gold and I can see that. So there could be a golden person. He, so again, masculine energy. For some reason I heard rodeo, so maybe that's something you guys will love to try. I can see our as well, so spending hours together. Let's pick now the stickers. Let's see, let's see any hints for you. I'm seeing movie theater, so maybe watching a movie together. Going for a picnic, so the movie, the picnic, reading a book together. And I'm sure you might love to actually go to places where you can just chill together. Maybe Ike going on the on the mountains. But this tells me this person is helpful. And as for the mountains, this always associates as a symbolism. Um, as a person who is grounded, they're not afraid to say sorry when they made a mistake or when they said something. Time to shine. <laughs> time to shine, time to explore. So this is the guidance for you. And the last one, hope, wait, two times, there is hope, trust, love can come, time to shine, time to explore, time to be together. So with my book of love answers, let's see more hints about what is next for you guys. And if you want to get my book or even get a reading with me, get a reading with me, <laughs> everything is linked down below, so check it out. Let's see group number three. Don't give up! Yes, that is that can actually conclude the reading for this group. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, put a thumbs up, claim this energy down below in the comments, subscribe if you're new, of course. You can also check my other readings appearing on the screen, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!